ladies and gentlemen, buckle up as we approach the December 26th Christmas total solar eclipse that will be over India and Timbuktu. And things are probably going to get weird. And with all the gas giants on the same side of the sun, we have been looking for increased volcano and earthquake activity. And I had put multiple heads ups around interstellar comet Borisov's perihelion. And we hit the target in a deadly fashion as we had a major volcano eruption in White Island in New Zealand. When there were reports of 100 degree and 200 degree soil in New Zealand and around Australia last year, I said we should put it on the list this year for possible volcanic activity. And so we got volcanic activity in New Zealand that killed seven people, tourists checking out the volcano. And we've had record wildfires that almost look like they're being caused from the ground under in Australia. Tropical Trackers is letting us know we've got Cyclone Belna making landfall near Bay de Bali National Park in the Philippines, I do believe. We've got more activity from the volcano in Mexico, Popocatépetl, which I'm giving an award for 2019 for the most active volcano on Earth because it has had some type of activity all day, every day. And last year, when I said we needed to watch the West Coast Ring of Fire, this is not disappointed. Combine that with the volcano activity in Alaska two weeks ago, and you got to ask, how long before we see volcano activity in the United States of America or Canada? You've got flash floods happening in Jerusalem, and you've got Hannah as hot as Bata. Letting us know, Walmart apologizes for the Christmas sweater depicting Santa about to do three rails of cocaine or snow. But uh, say hello to my little friend. And when asked about the Peloton commercial, the saddle lady was too busy laughing to comment. And so over by New Zealand, you have Australia. And you have a heat wave and windstorms. You have a heat wave over Australia and windstorms attacking northern Europe and an Arctic air outbreak for the United States. Plus, it's about to get stormy. You had a 5.0 earthquake in the Cayman Islands, which is the place where trillionaires hide their money, and a 5.0 in Costa Rica, which is where Listen to the Stars surfs the oceans. Now, I am your planetary defense commander. I warned about this stuff for a while. Um, died. But I gotta say, if you'll notice, when the volcano is erupting, everybody goes to the other side of the boat. I don't know why. I thought that was funny. It's like you're next to a giant volcano, then it's erupting. Everybody's like, move to the other side of the boat. We'll be safer there. Reminds me of the Ghostbusters when. They turn their nuclear-powered jetpacks on in the elevator, and they all scooch over a couple of centimeters. Pepsi unveils its green bonds to help save the climate. And I'm wondering how long before we get an, oak, an orange Coke bond. No, it's not a presidential joke. It's a volcano joke. And I've been letting you all know we would enter a very stormy period on the 10th. And so that period is now at the doorstep. And we're going to have anywhere from three to five storms over the next two weeks. Some of these could be pretty nasty. And they look to punch the same areas in the face with mixed precipitation. They're going to start out by coming out over the Pacific Northwest. They're going to move across the four corners, and then they're going to explode over the south through the Tennessee Valley up into the Ohio Cascades, which isn't a thing. I just made that up. 
and then move out the East Coast. And so this is now, and so we're talking multiple storms dropping mixed precipitation over the same areas. It's going to cause some problems. By the time we get to the days before Christmas, it's probably going to cause some major travel issues. What am I talking about? Well, first, we got the king of weather Twitter back from his two-week vacation, which he totally earned. He's our gold medalist weather guy for planet Earth in 2019. And my unofficial buddy duo partner uh, in letting people know about the weird weather. Lead rainy weather departs. Front heads up the coast. Trailer rides up the front. Disturbance and cold air drops in from the north. Light to moderate snowfall Wednesday a.m. A cold and active December pattern continues for now. Eric Fisher giving us the disher on the upcoming storm patterns. He has it leading up to about the 21st, but as you can see, it's going to be three storms over 11 days. So it's like, here, let's count together like Sesame Street. One, two, three, three big bad. Barudas headed from the central United States of America up through the Northeast and Canada. Cornhusker State had some pretty big winds this morning, letting us know is the weather nation. Winds will continue to stay strong throughout the morning, as will the coughing. Broken bow, bow, at 59 miles per hour, Grand Island 53. Oxford 53, Cozad 53, Hastings 52, and Waco 51. And remember, Nebraska's landlocked. Beth Carpenter saying good news. The really cold air for Tuesday, Wednesday is going to stay further north than was expected last week. Coldest temperatures will be in Wisconsin, up with lows below zero and wind chills in the negative teens and 20s. 15 to 30 degrees warmer for Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. And remember, never try to make love outdoors in sub-zero temperatures. Nothing good's going to happen. Jen Carfagno letting us know the snow is quickly moving in for your commute in the Twin Cities. Here's I-95. I added a one there for no reason. East of Albertaville at 5.30 a.m. These conditions will overspread. Ooh. The metro area over the next hour or so. Please be cautious. Take your time out there, Minnesota. Weather Nation is making a penetration in our mind with knowledge. Update. Areas across the Mississippi Valley and Tennessee Valleys have wintry mixed chances in the forecast Tuesday. Here's the very latest. And then, Brittany Bryant. Windy morning. Gusts 30 miles per hour. Memphis, Brownsville, Memphis, Boulevard, Holly Springs, Tunica, Oxford, Corinth, Dyer, Helena. Oh, man. Jim Cantori, the distance between Buffalo Municipal Airport and the mean sea level pressure is 37 miles as the crow flies. I screwed all that up. Temperatures drop by 14 degrees as the snow move in over the distance. It should grease up the roads pretty quickly. Oh, great. Indianapolis roads will be slick with slaughter for your morning commute. Oh, that's from Beowulf. So far, the Indy Airport has a quarter inch of rain this morning. Take it slow and leave extra space between cars. I think the mother of dragons has a boyfriend now. Good for her. I support all love. All love between consenting adults, you douchebag. Not you, Mike Masco. Thump. Of snow Tuesday night chances are rising for an accumulating snow event Tuesday night Wednesday morning as Arctic air invades and catches some frontal moisture Woo! I can say that again below is the European models chances for three inches of snow I feel one to four possible right into New York Wednesday a.m. oh where is my mind let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, says meteorologist Katie Nicolao. A quick moving band of snow just entered Sioux City. Expect visibility 
to be significantly reduced. Brandy Smith asking Houston, who's ready for a real cold front? We got one packing highs in the 40s set to roll in tomorrow. So get your jackets ready. The storm team for New York and no one else. Rain aside, at least the next two days will feel more like early spring. Winter will make a comeback by the middle of the week, though. Cold air returns, but so does the likelihood of snow. Find out if you'll be impacted. Rain arrives today, temps on the rise. Even milder Tuesday, heavy p.m. rain possible. Rain to snow by Wednesday a.m. commute. And for England, the U.K., and Ireland, Met forecast. Tuesday, we'll see another area of low pressure moving through, bringing heavy rain across much of the country. Gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour are possible along western coasts. I don't think the slow will be named. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Weather letting us know, Illinois, you got a dramatic temperature drop this evening. Snow shower chances north midweek. Want a simple graphic? There you go. Brought to us by the Tina Knightley, Lady Pilot. See, our residents in the Northeast will need all types of outwear early this week as soaking rain and surge of milder air will be quickly followed by tumbling temperatures and even some snow. We're talking rapid snow melt Monday through Tuesday, 10 to 20 degrees above normal, areas of fog, much colder air to follow. The coldest air yet this season will send the Midwest into deep freeze by the middle of the week. And whether Twitter into a frenzy as people use the word polar vortex properly, improperly, you decide. You know, it's 2019. You get to make up your own facts, buddy. West Coast has had some impressive rain totals in the last storm system. The next few storm systems look to be a little higher than California, but we are still talking Whiskey Town. Got five inches. I'm going to drag it over. Blue Canyon. 3.85, Redding 3, Quincy, Clear Lake, Sonora, Red Bluff. I just like naming names. I like cool temperatures, but Grant Gilmore, why touch sexy parrots? <laughs> parrot, P-A-R-R-O-T, like Toucan Sam. Oh, I know he wasn't a parrot. What are we talking about? He loves Florida because it is hot, 83 degrees while well, everybody else is cool. And International Falls is dang cold. There's the Peloton bike lady. She's cute. She almost looks like this in the stars. But yeah, multiple times I mentioned we should watch out for any type of earthquake or volcano activity right around perihelion of Comet Borisov 21, the interstellar alien metal comet thingy. And it happened. Remember, avoid negative people at all costs. They are the greatest destroyers of self-confidence and self-esteem. I agree, Tim Fargo. I agree. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Canada. The weather network, the start of the work week, is rather soggy for Ontario. But cold weather is on the horizon for the region. Put much of the province in a more wintry feel. I screwed up a word there. Rainy. Looking at a fire NATO in Australia as that situation is pretty horrible and record breaking. Remember, Australia is right next to New Zealand, which just had the volcano eruption. The land of ice, Iceland. It's, it's green, I think, and, and Greenland is icy. I forget. Or one's a stalactite, one's a stalagmite. A severe storm develops over the next few days, which will give near hurricane force winds to the island. But over 100 centimeters to 200 centimeters of snow could fall across the north. Huge amounts. Annie, hey, you guys. Uh, that was an electric company joke. I have you probably won't even get it. I think it's no snow. Light accumulations are possible in some areas Wednesday morning. And if I read her thing twice, it's probably because she's cute. I'm just trying to brighten your day. It is a Monday. And you know what? Do you remember a year and a half ago, two years ago, when I went and worked out with the Houston Texans cheerleaders? Yeah, that, that was a great day. The energy was wonderful. 
this is me comprehensive looking at things for you. And I would like to put out a challenge to anyone who's watched my videos for over a year but has never donated. With my birthday coming up on the 19th, Christmas on the 25th, New Year's, and a show on Wednesday that I'd like to Uber and go see and have a drink, I would challenge you, if you have enjoyed and I've made you laugh over 100 times, to send me a thank you contribution in the mail to T. Eric Lewison, 5430 Birdwood Road, number 416, Houston, Texas, 77096. It's only for people who've never donated before. Okay? Yeah, that's what I do. I, I give you my all for free to everybody all the time. And then I hope it comes back to me. And especially around holiday season. And now I'm going to end this video by giving the ladies what they love. And that is a, a look at the models. Ooh, looks like California is going to be getting hit as well all right let's restart over holy crap remember the farther out it gets the less reliable it is so we've got storm number one moving through it'll be gone on the 12th and then you got your next one blowing up on the east coast punching the upper northeast coast on the 15th and you got your next one on the 16th it's a little weenie one and then on the 19th my birthday get a pretty nasty one flood wise in the southeast doesn't do that big of a punch in the northeast and then on the 23rd you get your wow holy crap that would be bad but yeah that would be like the fourth four or five storms in a two-week period and it would be pretty nasty pretty gnarly for the west coast which is already getting battered by rain and in the high elevation snow when you see pink or purple on the board that means sleet or ice and ice is trouble yeah it looks like we got some whoa dude that would be on the 21st which is only 10 days away we'll have to check it out later but um what was that man that was pretty nasty because remember they got hit by the record low ever a couple weeks ago didn't do any major major damage but you know it's still short in the season I think their wet season runs all the way through. Look at that. 985, yeah, dude, that would be another record low. And remember, we are looking for signs of volcano and earthquake activity possible along the Ring of Fire all the way up until the eclipse and two or three weeks after, plus with the Gas giants on the same side, technically like three more years. And so, yeah, we'd be looking at another record low. And so we will be watching these leading up to the big eclipse. This would be actually six days before the eclipse, which takes place on the 26th. And so we're going to have to keep our eye on the weather like a hawk because the weather definitely gets weird on, around, and especially after total eclipses total solar eclipses that is when the moon blocks out the sun light for earth okay so everybody stay cool and if you'd like to accept my thor news appreciation for seven years one year three year birthday christmas challenge that would be wonderful i love it anytime i get a card from anyone in the mail all right everybody stay cool and i will try and do the same I've been in a bit of a funk the last six weeks, and I've definitely been sick. It's like I'm trying to rewrite my DNA with these weird-ass Martian flu viruses. But hopefully, I'm finally busting out of it. Yay. Plus, Mercury's in Sagittarius. Peace out. God bless everyone.